AMD is acquiring Xilinx in a $35 billion deal. That's one area of technology that we are looking at this morning, semiconductors. You've got a big deal on the, on the tape. Also, you've got the CEOs from Facebook, Twitter, and Google set to testify before the Senate Commerce Committee. Uh, the Senate Committee is going to be uh, hearing these CEOs next month. You've also got a House hearing coming up this week. They're going to face questions over Section 230 of the 1996 Communications Decency Act, a law essentially shielding them from lawsuits over content posted their platforms. It's pretty clear they're not bulletin boards, Ryan, and these uh, policies may very well change. Do you want to still own these stocks if they lose that liability protection? Well, first off, I just love when these big, uh, you know, these leaders of tech go on a Capitol Hill and we can just see how much Congress doesn't understand tech. But I think, you know, bottom line <laughs> is, you know, it has been a witch hunt for a long time and I think it'll continue to be. I think you want to own tech in your portfolio, but I can't emphasize enough that tech is fully valued here. Um, at this point, the tech sector trades at like 30 times forward earnings. And when you start looking at the overall market, Maria, there's so many good bargains out there. If you start looking at small caps, which have basically broken out over the last couple of weeks, their earnings are going to increase by like 180 percent next year. So I think you have to be really smart here as an asset allocator for my clients. We are definitely diversifying out of big tech. We don't we don't just own big tech. And I think that's the smart move here, because at some point here, that music's going to stop. Yeah, but would you buy any of these stocks or do you want to hold would you want to sell those stocks if they lose that immunity? Um, no, I don't think you sell those stocks here because I think at the end of the day, look, their 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 growth still potential is still phenomenal here. Um, but I think the bottom line is you want to take some profits, you want to diversify some of that money. So no, I don't I don't think you sell outright here just because of regulation. As we know, you know, back in the day IBM was under, you know, a lawsuit with the with the government, that didn't pan out to anything. Microsoft uh, for a long time was. So I don't think that's going to affect how these stock prices uh, move.